We begin at 10.30 when they turn out the lights. We are 25 immigrant detainees in dorm three of Santa Maria Detention Center. We are manicurists, nannies, orange pickers, cooks, medical assistants, and cleaning pros. And we have each brought what is most precious to us to communicate with the dead. We sit in a circle, our spines straight, our knees bent in neat corners. It is a clear Sunday, the moonlight painting us pale and earnest. One by one, we place our offerings in the center of the circle. We imagine a heap of extravagance, candied apples with stick handles, a tin of loose chamomile flowers, loud and impractical hats. For a moment, we forget we're prisoners. All but five of us have brought family pictures. We turn to Trang. We're concerned about the lack of variety, bashful about our consensus. Trang has taught us about the seance, the way it has been passed down in her family. She knows the methods, the protocols. We're relieved when she nods. She tells us it is not the variety, but the truth of our choices that matters. We nod. Puja has brought her only pair of glasses. Natalia has brought her rosary. Marla has brought her last phone card with 20 minutes still left to use. Carmen has brought a business card. It's my lawyers, she says. But is it really, we ask. We know she cannot afford a lawyer. After her husband broke his spine at a condo job site, she was the one who supported her family. A family of two spiraling teenagers, a withered father, and a grandmother with lost memories. A family that was evicted just a week ago. Have you even talked to this lawyer we press again? Carmen admits she has not, but says she will. Oh yes, she absolutely will hire this lawyer. It is her conviction that persuades us. We know only truth can be as foolish. Then at last, we get to the most curious offering, a bundle of hair tied with a string. We turn to Big Afia. There are two Afias in our dorm. We call Big Afia Big Afia because she is small and quiet and carries such heaviness. We ask her if it is her lover's hair. Big Afia nods. We smile. It is romantic. We all have read stories about girls snipping ringlets for their beloveds, who must be away for a while for dangerous and compelling reasons. Then, as our eyes go dreamy, Big Afia tells us her story. They burned on our house is how the story begins. We learn that they means vigilantes, those who hate someone like Big Afia, a woman loving a woman, a crime in the country where she was born. The whole of a partner was crushed by thudded chunks of her home. There was no time. Big Afia took what she could, a fistful of hair that still smelled like coconut oil and cigarette smoke. We are relieved when Trang begins to sing our song to initiate the seance. We know from Sophia's face, pink, sinking, that she is about to cry. It is she among us who has the most tender feelings, but some stories, they deserve more than fast tears. Trang's voice rises. It is the same song her great-great-grandmother sang to summon a village full of souls, all died in a demented war. It is the kind of song that bombs the memories, that floats like an invitation. We listen.
imagine heap of extravagance Can't the apple dream Family photo offerings To wake To the next place